Today we'll look at Beneath Apple Manor, an Apple II game in 1978 by Don Worth. It was actually one of the very first roguelike CRPGs, at least on the home computer front. We had some various dungeon crawlers in the mainframe world on systems like Play-Doh, but this was an excellent go-around for the Apple II. So now you can play a roguelike in your home. Now I'm cheating a little as the version I'm playing for this video is the graphically improved 1982 release. It's an improved version, mostly updated with high-res graphics and sound effects. It's really the same game at its core, but I found it a lot more rewarding and just more fun to look at playing the newer version in this case. But like a roguelike style of play, your goal is to gradually delve deeper and deeper in the dungeon as you amass hit points and strength and money. Eventually you can reach the bottom of the dungeon where the grand prize or treasure lies. In this case, you're after a supposed golden apple at the bottom of the dungeon. Well, after many deaths, restarts, and the continual questing, I finally reached the golden apple guarded by a dragon. Defeating the dragon gives you the chance to discover if you have the real apple. Yeah, sometimes it's fake and your quest is not yet over. When I finally defeated the big bad dragon dude, though, and was rewarded with the real golden apple, you'll never guess what happened. The emulator crashed. I was about to restart and try again when I realized something. Hey, wait a sec. It wasn't a crash after all. The game is actually designed to return you to the command prompt. Why? Hey, you don't get it, right? You've discovered the golden apple, as in Apple Computer. Ah, ha, what a great joke. So for its great gameplay, its length of playtime, its humor, and, of course, establishing how to do a roguelike on the mini computers of the day, we grant Beneath Apple Manor as a video game great.